Hi, Chess Kid teachers and coaches. This tutorial is about what to do when you set up an enterprise account for the first time. After our Chess Kid staff has given your account the enterprise designation, it's time to set up the structure for your organization. This will be different for everyone, depending on what type of program you work with. You might choose to group kids by region, by school, or even by classroom. It just depends on what type of reports and access you'd like. The site navigation is slightly different for enterprise members. From your homepage, you'll now notice a button in the center of the screen that says Groups, or it may say Organizations if you own more than one. The Kids link from the main left menu also now takes you to the same place. Both of these links take you to your Groups page, where you can find your kids and other group details. Going back to the home page, if you're used to using the My Kids icon underneath your avatar on the right-hand side, this now takes you into the old gold membership side of things. This is not where you want to create kid accounts. They won't become members of your group. Now to set up your organization. All enterprise kids must be placed in groups. So if you're logging in for the first time, you'll be prompted to create a group. When you click into each group, you have the option to further divide your groups by adding subgroups. You may want to do this if you'd like to give guardianship to just one school or just one classroom. Next, it's time to invite the other adults who work with you. When you add an adult account into a group, you're adding a guardian, so it's important that these are trusted teachers. Adults who are added at the very top level of the organization will have access to every kid in every group under it. And adults who are added into just a lower group or subgroup will have limited access to just the school or classroom with which they work. You can invite other adults by clicking the Adults tab at the top of your group screen. Click into your group and then click Adults at the top. Here you'll find a list of all the adults with access to that group and an email invitation field at the bottom. If the coach already has a Chess Kid account, they'll receive a link to accept your invitation from both their email and their Chess Kid inbox. If they don't already have a Chess Kid account, they'll be prompted to register on the site and will be automatically added to your group. There are three types of adult roles for organizations. The coach teacher role has full control over kids' accounts. They can edit the kids' accounts, reset passwords, view the kids' activities, and even remove a kid from a group. This way, a teacher can manage the roster of a classroom based on the students they see every day. The director role has all the permissions of a teacher coach and additionally can create subgroups as well as invite other adults. Directors are intended to be regional contacts or assistants who can set up a whole school or teaching program. And the last role is owner. The only difference with owner roles is that they see the billing tab for the organization at the top. Now that you've set up your groups and subgroups, it's time to assign gold seats to them. That's up in the next tutorial.